yeah, because Jürgen came six years ago, and uh, if you compare the squad that he inherited, and I think he came after eight or nine games in that season, in the end finished eighth. This is where roundabout we currently are. He had a point average in that season of 1.6, but with every transfer window after that, they developed the kind of squad that they had today. And again, I'm not blaming anyone, not my players, nor anybody else, but we just have to realize what kind of squad they had available today. Look at their bench, look at even four players. They, they, what, they were not even in, the, in their squad. Roberto Firmino was the only one that was injured. Oxlade Chamberlain not in the squad. Minamino not in the squad, uh, um, Harvey Elliott not in the squad. This is just shows what kind of quality squad and team they have built together and uh, working together with Jürgen and his team in the last six years. This is not only a question of quality of players, it's also a question of how they play together, what kind of mentality do they have, what kind of energy, what kind of physicality compared with, yeah, with speed, high speed. I would say they have 25 Formula One racing cars in, in their squad. You spoke before the game about how the team is probably going to be quiet down here in the summer, apart from the Paris attack tonight. How many players are going to leave the squad this week? It looks like a lot of them have big names who have dropped out and have to step up and play. I don't, I don't think so, to be honest. No, I don't think that they have mentally checked out. It's just a different level. They, they have better players than we have, if you look at it in total. and. Um, and this is what, what reflected was was reflected by the results today. So uh, there will be a rebuild for sure, but right now that doesn't help us because we still have another five games to play. So that there has to be a rebuild for me was clear even when I came in in December and after the first three or four weeks for me that was obvious. But uh, right now it doesn't help, and for us it's extremely um, embarrassing also as a coaching staff to have press conference with conferences like the one we have right now, but we just have to admit they are better than us.